Hello, and welcome to today's Your Daily Five. I'm Tom Boley, Chief Market Strategist at EarningsBeats.com, and I'm happy to join you on this Tuesday, March 8th. Before I get into my charts for today, I want to just walk you through a few things that I do um, that I hope can help you in your trading as you go forward. If you go over to EarningsBeats.com and just simply scroll down, actually right near the top of the page, we do have a free no-cost trial. Uh, for 30 days. So you can check out our paid service if you'd like for, uh, for $0. But also, um, if you just want to start to learn more about my style and so forth, I do have a free Earnings Beats Digest newsletter that requires just a name, email address, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free, no credit card required. You can unsubscribe at any time. Uh, we do not uh, send any information to third parties, so you don't have to worry about a privacy thing. Um, but I think it would be a great uh, a compliment to whatever you're currently doing in the market. So please check that out. The other thing I want to point out is if you're not familiar, I do a lot of writing over at Stock Charts. Uh, I have blogs, I also have shows, my Trading Places live show. But there are a lot of folks now talking about a bear market. And I just want to walk you through uh, kind of a timeline of some of these, these articles that I've written at Stock Charts. This was on December 31st in Chart Watchers. Um, it could be a very rough start to 2022. That's where I started to detail my outlook for a bear market, cyclical bear market in 2022. On January 21st, uh, talked about the tails wagging the dog, big plunge ahead. I don't know if you remember, but January 24th is where we saw that huge drop and then finally got a short-term recovery. January 23rd, made four bold predictions about the bear market. You can go back and take a look at that if you'd like, but one of them was a big breakout and rally in gold, which is what we have seen. On February 3rd, more signs pointing to a cyclical bear market. So I went through and talked about some of those. Uh, February 4th, don't confuse a cyclical bear market bounce with a secular bull market rally. I think that was really important uh, to understand that those rallies would not last. Next, February 18th, you ready for a market meltdown? Well, if you look back over the next week, we did. We had another big drop before the market rallied one more time, a bear market rally. Next up, um, talked about how the bear was gaining more of a grip. That was back on February 24th, just as we were printing that short-term low. Um, and if you recall, we did rally back up, test the 20-day. February 27th, talked about four to six more weeks of bad market weather. Uh, well, we're in the midst of it, and you've seen what's been going on in the market. I only point this out because these articles that I've been writing over at Stock Charts are free. Any of these articles, if you scroll down to the bottom of the article below, you know, about me, you'll see an area where you can subscribe. These, this is free. This is subscribing at Stock Charts. All that you put your name, or excuse me, you put your email address in here, hit that subscribe button, and anytime an article of mine is published, um, it will be sent directly to your email. So you don't miss any articles. And that's for me, it's for everyone else over at Stock Chart. So if you have some favorite authors there, make sure you check that out. All right, so for today, I wanna to talk about these five charts. Um, and these are what I consider to be, um, you know, bear market charts that I'm currently watching um, for clues. Now there's a lot going on here. Basically, I just wanna point out that the, Blue vertical or the blue dotted vertical lines represent uh, the monthly CPI report dates. So this overall is the NASDAQ 100 chart. It's an hourly chart that goes back about six months. And so you can see the last, the dates of the last six monthly CPI reports are these blue dotted lines. The red dotted vertical lines are when the Fed meets. That's the announcement date on the Fed meetings. Um, so I just wanted to put those in so you can kind of see what the market has done leading up to these reports and then after. But the main one thing I wanted to point out is the monthly CPI reports, the last three months, look at these blue directional lines. I'm pointing right to where we were. Every one of these, the last three, here back in uh, December, that would have been the November CPI, after the report, we were down within a little over a week, we were down almost 1,000 points on the NASDAQ 100. In January, we had the December P uh, CPI come out. We were down almost 2,000 or roughly 2,000 points, actually a little bit more than 2,000 points in about 10, uh, 10 days. And then finally in February, we've got the January report 
January CPI report came out and again, lost about 2000 points in about 10 days. Market does not like hearing about inflation. Um, doesn't like hearing about the Fed either, but especially doesn't like about hearing about inflation. So just beware, coming up this Thursday in just two days, February CPI will be released. So based on the recent history, I don't know where we're going to be at the time of that release. If we keep selling off, maybe we get a relief rally after it. I don't know. But I do think that it is going to continue to put pressure on the stock market to the downside. The other thing at the bottom of this chart, this is one of the sustainability ratios that I like to follow. The XLY, XLP, discretionary versus staple stocks. If you notice the NASDAQ at the end of December, not so much beginning of January, the uh, S&P 500 actually set its all-time high at the beginning of January. And when it did that, look at the XLY, XLP ratio dropping. That was a sign that that move to the upside was not sustainable. And as we've been going down, Notice we just keep breaking to lower lows on this ratio. Consumer discretionary, one of the biggest problems in the market right now. So be aware of that. Here's a better look. This is the second chart I have. This is just a better look of the downtrend, this channel that the NASDAQ 100 is in. You can see the top that was made beginning of January, the top in the second week of February. And then again, the top just recently, I sent this to our members uh, during uh, just recently, last couple of days. I think it was late last week. We were actually putting in a new high with a lower hourly PPO right as we were hitting major trend line resistance. And look what happened ever since, just selling straight down. So the NDX, the S&P 500, these major indices are trending lower. And until we break out of this channel, I wouldn't be thinking anything but bearish thoughts. So keep this chart in mind. Next up, QQQ versus the SPY. This is the NASDAQ 100 ETF divided by the S&P 500 ETF. This is another, what I would consider a sustainability ratio. So on the top here is the ratio QQQ to the SPY. Next panel here is the S&P 500. Finally, down here at the bottom is the growth stocks. This is the large cap growth index. So we topped, and you can see these two arrows I put in here, the relative tops came in in February and November. We did not break out. So even though the S&P 500 was going to new highs to start the year, we actually started rolling over in this ratio. So it was just telling me we wanted to be careful that we were probably not going to, um, we probably were not going to carry through with that rally. And that's one of the reasons why I thought we were going to get off to a, a rough start in 2022. Um, just the, the under the surface signals that you never hear about on CNBC, those are the ones that were driving the market. Look at where the S&P 500 was here and where it was here. Kept going higher, but we stopped going higher in terms of that relative strength, and that was a problem. Now we've got growth stocks breaking down below areas where we just held just recently. Um, and by the way, this is a weekly chart. So just a couple of weeks ago, we had a nice hammer holding on to price support. Well, that's gone uh, with what we're seeing right now. And look at that relative strength breaking down. This is a problem. All right, next up, um, oil. Obviously, everybody's talking about crude oil right now. And why shouldn't they? I mean, crude oil going through the roof with this uh, Russia-Ukraine conflict. I wanted to go back and just bring up some history. This is 1990 and 1991, the Persian Gulf War. When we had a cyclical bear market, S&P 500 fell more than 20%, did so over about a three-month period, while crude oil prices shot up 148% in these three months. But once crude oil topped and started rolling back over, you can see the S&P 500 bottomed and eventually we went higher. Looking at the current situation, here is the S&P 500 in the midst of what I believe is a cyclical bear market. Here was that move in crude oil that started back in December, but has really picked up pace the last couple of weeks since the conflict started. We are now up from the bottom about 82%. So it's not 147%, but it's getting pretty close. If we were to go up another 40 or $50 per uh, barrel, take us up to about 160, 170, that would set an all-time high probably would coincide with a pretty steep drop in the S&P 500. That could be something to watch for for a potential bottom coming up. Anyhow, those are the five bear market charts that I'm going to be watching along with others. Uh, but please go back and take a look at those articles that I've written throughout 2022. It's really designed 
to help folks uh, deal with what we have in the market. I'd like to think that I look at the market a little bit differently than most, especially those that you're going to find on CNBC who are only going to tell you what happened in the rearview mirror. You need to be able to spot things before they happen. And hopefully some of this uh, is helping you understand um, that. Anyway, um, that's it for me today. It was a pleasure joining you today on your Daily Five. Please remember to go over to earningsbeats.com. Sign up for our free 30-day trial membership or at least check out our free newsletter, the EV Digest. Love to have you. Have a great day, everybody. Happy trading. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.